So it is park number two. It's a Sea World, not Sea World. Fun spot, kiss me. And uh, yeah, I've ridden mind blowing. That might be all the credits I get because it's middle of the day and this is like the only coaster open. I'm gonna ride the Giga Sky coaster though. That'll be next. Um, but yeah, it's kind of disappointing at $10 per ride. This park kind of sucks. Okay, so I've done the Giga Sky Coaster. Uh, done with the park now, did Mind Blower, did Giga Sky Coaster. That's all I care to do. I'm not paying $10 to ride a Wild Mouse. Bit of a rip off. The park's kind of crap. Don't really think it's the best. I don't know how these people are Sky Coaster certified because I flew in pretty darn high winds. And uh, yeah, but it was a good drop, but I did it sideways. So yeah, best Sky Coaster for sure. But uh, it could be, could be better in the operation side of things. Um, that's it for this fun spot. Now time for the fun spot for Orlando. Fun spot park number two, Orlando. This park is so much better than Kissimmee. Honestly, my opinion right now, Britain, both coasters, both the coasters here are better than Mind Blower. So unless you're a Sky Coaster enthusiast, don't bother with Kissimmee, it's a crap park. But here, wow, pretty good. Definitely, definitely try it. Feels way more value for your money at $10 a ride. Okay, re-rides on the greatest wooden coaster in Florida and one of the best GCIs out there. Okay, and that'll do it for my little fun spot jaunt over here to some small parks. Might go do the Orlando Starflyer next. Just kind of hitting the smaller attractions today. Total ride counts are two on Mind Blower. Not a great ride, kind of disappointing. Um, two on White Lightning and one on, why can't I remember the name of it? This Vacoma Hang and Bang, but it's not a Hang and Bang. It's actually pretty fun. Um, all of, Freedom Flyer, yeah. Um, all of the, uh, the rides here are all the coasters here are better than uh, Mind Blower, and obviously that Wild Mouse that I didn't even pay, waste ten dollars on. So uh, definitely would strongly recommend Fun Spot Orlando. Honestly, unless you're a Sky Coaster enthusiast, don't bother with Fun Spot Kissimmee. That's one of the worst parks I've ever been to. Orlando, on the other hand, pretty pretty nice park. Definitely highly recommend it. But Kissimmee, avoid it if you can. Um, yeah, get the Sky. If you're a Sky Coaster enthusiast, it's worth it. But if you're not, don't bother. This park is way better. Don't save your money. Mind blower is not any good. Um, but yeah, that'll do it for here. Um, if I film anything at Orlando Starflyer, you will see a clip after this. If not, thanks for watching and goodbye. All right, did the Sky Coaster here, and I must say, maybe shorter by 50 feet than the one kissed me, but it is better, and the crew is better. They're very nice people. Uh, great flight, but pretty much face first down the drop, so it's pretty darn awesome. Best Sky Coaster flight for sure. And now we'll, we'll move on from here and see where, where else we end up. It's getting kind of cloudy and windy, so I have no clue if we're going to be doing Star Flyer. We'll see. That will do it from this little jaunt around three little parks in Orlando, Florida. Very fun, all of them. Uh, Starflyer, not the best Starflyer. Darian Lakes is actually better, but very high for sure. Um, good ride. And uh, fun spot parks, you already know my opinion, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.